Today on 10 Minute IT Gems, we have Oris Lesiuk, who is the Solutions Engineer at Starwind. So uh, welcome to the Jam, Oris. Thank you. Nice to meet you. And welcome everyone also. Yeah, awesome. So um, to start off, could you tell me uh, for a business that hasn't worked with Starwind before, what are your key products and offerings? Mm, well, we have both hardware and software offerings. So among our hardware products, there are two crucial products. So the first one is Tawin Hyperconverged Appliance, which is our turnkey solution designed to bring easy to implement, manage, and understand IT infrastructure to our customers. So this is achieved by mastering the solution precisely as per customer's requests, ages of experience, and basically multiple and successful use cases throughout the world and the industries. And all this serves to ensure maximum uptime and performance for the applications and services right on top of the Starwind HCA. The thing is that Starwind HCA also allows building a two node or more compact clusters delivering again, maximum uptime and performance. The other hardware product is the Starwind Backup Appliance is the product we have released just recently. And the main idea behind it is to deliver the, basically to eliminate the need in inconvenient and thorough planning of the backup windows and trying to fit them. So it's based on the NVMe storage and it extremely accelerates the backup and restore speeds, allowing to eliminate any dependency of your production environment on the slow backup systems and meet even the strictest RTO and RPO requirements. Uh, as to the software products, so the first one I want to mention is the Starwind Virtual SN. That's the our SDS, the software defined storage solution. And it's intended to build compact two node fault tolerant hyperconverged clusters on top of the commodity hardware. All to ensure maximum uptime for the workloads without having to follow the strict hardware compatibility lists. And the other product is the one that we have released just recently is the Starwind SAN and NAS. So it is intended to breathe a new life into your existing and maybe even aging hardware by turning it into the SAN or NAS. So it features the very convenient UI and an extremely simple implementation process and its reliability is based on the most advanced file system, ZFS, and along with other numerous features. Cool. Um, so what are the most recent improvements or innovations in your products? Well, it's the release of two products I've mentioned earlier, the Starwind Backup Appliance and the Starwind SAN and NAS. Uh, we have also released the Starwind NVMe over Fabrics Initiator, which is intended to share the fast NVMe storage over the network to Windows systems without the performance impact. And of course, it's not only the new products that we design and develop, but it's also the constant improvements we deliver to our existing products, such as Starwind Virtual SAN, Starwind VTL, and our free products, such as Starwind V2V and P2V converters. Um, and what trends are your product development teams focused on next in the future? Uh, we are currently, and I believe in the nearest future, we are focused on delivering and bringing NVMe technology to the masses. And you can already tell this uh, by looking at our existing products. So the idea is for us to develop and extend the NVMe of our fabrics potential to share the fast NVMe storage or the network uh, without the impact on latency and performance. And this is just as well the improvement of usage of NVMe as local storage, which you can see in our backup appliance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and Starwind's all about storage basically. So what do you see as the next big technical technological challenge in the storage market? Well, uh, it's mostly related to NVMe. So while the NVMe is already here, uh, though not an industry standard yet, 
it allows you to basically make use of its benefits and of its speed. However, not to the full extent, especially when it comes to the multiple or all NVMe arrays. So in most of the cases, you might not need that full NVMe performance again yet, but the uh, platform leaders already start developing new chassis with more PCIe lanes to get the maximum use of that NVMe speed potential. So when the platform will stop becoming the bottleneck, the next crucial step will be the protocol to access, share, and replicate in active, active manner the NVMe storage. So that will be the biggest technological challenge. Right, yeah. Um, and finally for you, Orest, um, if an enterprise end user wanted to engage with Starwin, what is the best way? Well, we actually have numerous ways for the end users to engage with Starwind. So first of all, it's the numerous Gartner reports, as well as our actual customers' reviews. Secondly, it's the marketing materials that we prefer to provide the understanding, uh, better understanding of our products. And thirdly, it's the ability for end users to evaluate the products themselves, because there is nothing better than your own experience. So that's the trial licenses our end users can make use of just to see if our products meet their requirements and fit their needs. Also, it's the ability to deploy the HCA evaluation kit on top of their existing hardware. And even not to mention our hardware demo stands that allow our customers to, to fully understand and feel the benefits of Stowin Hopic and Managed Appliance. So again, there are various ways and every end user can pick the way that is most convenient to engage with Starwind and learn about our products. Brilliant, cool. Well, that's all we have time for today. So um, thanks for joining me today, Orest. Yeah, thank you too. Uh, wish everyone all the best and to stay safe.